Sewage from a toilet is a resource and the key to the recycling of nutrients. About 90% of the nitrogen and phosphorus from household sewage is in the toilet's waste. The toilet sewage in a building is separated from the water from baths, dishwashing, and laundry. The sewage from the toilet is accumulated in a sealed tank, while other household water is processed in a simple infiltration system in the soil of the property. In order for the nutrients to be as concentrated as possible, an extremely low flush toilet is required. For example, a urine diverting or vacuum toilet. This technology also means that the property owner doesn't consume as much potable water for this purpose. And the sealed tank doesn't need to be emptied as often. The tank is emptied with a vacuum truck that transports the sewage to a treatment plant. At the treatment plant, the sewage is emptied into one of two receiving wells, each holding 200 cubic meters. The escaping air that arises from emptying the water passes through a biofilter that reduces odors. From the receiving wells, the sewage is pumped into one of the two bioreactors. Each of the reactors holds 32 cubic meters. In the reactor, an agitator is started and, when needed, two smaller foam separators as well. Air is added in the bottom of the reactor and is whipped to the point of creating sufficiently large bubbles. The air rises in the reactor and generates warmth as microorganisms in sewage consume oxygen. The escaping air returns to the receiving wells and exits through the biofilter. After seven days, the temperature has risen to approximately 40 degrees Celsius and any contagion agents such as Salmonella, E. coli and Enterobacterium have been reduced by about 40%. A pipe connecting the reactors provides an opportunity to transport microbiological inoculants between the reactors in order to speed up the process. A small amount of concentrated urea is added in the reactor. After an additional seven days, all contagion agents have been removed through this process. The process is controlled through measurement of time, temperature and pH. The entire treatment time for sanitizing amounts to 14 days. The reactor is then emptied into final storage. 1,500 cubic meters of fully treated fertilizer can then be stored until it is time to spread it on arable land. The annual production of fertilizer from a single treatment plant is sufficient for 40 hectares or about 100 acres of land. By killing the contagion agents in toilet sewage through sanitizing, phosphorus and other nutrients can be returned to the soil through the spreading of fertilizer. Phosphorus is an essential resource that can be in short supply already today. A lack of phosphorus can lead to increased prices for fertilizers and, in the end, food. In collaboration with LRF, Telianet's treatment plants are an example of how we can return nutrients to the soil. It is the responsibility of all of us to leave a good environment for coming generations. No one can do everything, but everyone can do something.